right, so now that we've got our guys and everything looks good, we now want to update our metadata, right? Our JSON file still says image to be replaced. To be replaced. We How do we replace that? Uh, this is how we're going to do that. So this part of the chapter is metadata. So we're going to come back to pinata.cloud. Go ahead and go to pinata.cloud. Sign up for um, an account. This is where you can tune into uh, my other uh, tutorial and follow the process. But we're going to do it kind of here. So once you create your account, you can go ahead and look at your dashboard. We're going to upload. Okay, so we're going to upload the images of all of our apes. So how do we do that? We go to the C drive, the Hashlips folder, your Photoshop engine folder, where your project is. Open that up. And in the build folder, we have the images folder. Let's go ahead and upload that and it's asking do you want to upload these 35 files upload and we're going to name this uh crispr ape apes images oh actually you want to name it like this crispr underscore ape underscore images okay and we're going to go ahead and click upload all right, now that that's uploaded, you'll see it's provided us now with a CID number. We're going to want to go ahead and copy that number, and we're going to come back to Photoshop. Okay, and we're going to go to File, Scripts, Browse, and now we're going to run the Update Metadata JavaScript file. Load that. It's going to say, uh, you're about to update the metadata of your collection. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes. Uh, so what is the metadata prefix? So now it's asking to enter the new metadata prefix. And if you're going to deploy this to uh, Remix or to uh, through Remix to the blockchain, then uh, the way that I did it in my last tutorial, and though you could you know link it to your own website, uh, but uh, I use the uh, pinata, so uh, and the open C, so and the re and remix. And so, in order to do that, uh, it has to be d uh, done with the IPFS. And so here, I would do the IPFS colon slash slash the CID number here. We'll copy that, come back to Photoshop, put that in there, bang, and then another slash, okay? And that should be good. Boom. Okay, and then, uh, so it's asking for the metadata suffix, and these are gonna be in PNG files, so you wanna make sure that's lowercase dot PNG. Okay, updating metadata complete. So now if we go back to our metadata folder and open up that first JSON file, you can see that now we have the IPFS is correct pointing towards our pinata uh, folder of images. So now we want to upload another folder and we want that to be the, if we go back to C drive hashlips folder, our Photoshop engine folder, where our project is in the build folder, the metadata folder is the one we're looking for. Go ahead and collect, click the metadata folder. And we want to upload that. And we're going to call this CRISPR Apes Metadata Upload. Okay, so now that that's done, this CID number you would put in to remix when you're ready to deploy so i'm not doing that on this tutorial i'm not making a collection of monkeys so i'm not deploying anything this series this uh tutorial series isn't going to have um any deployment because i'm not copping on the monkey style this is something for you to uh use as a tutorial for educational purposes
you're welcome. Subscribe. Uh, so now, now you have both those CIDs and you should be able to go to the yeah, JSON and you can see that it's pointing to the right place. So that's great. So now that that is done, now that's done, if you want to deploy your collection to OpenSea and the blockchain, uh, go ahead and watch my uh, part five video of how to make an NFT collection in 2022, the deployment video. This one's gonna be the one that you are going to use to send your images and metadata into a collection on OpenSea and the blockchain and interact with that. So go ahead and watch that video. All right, well, let's get this video to a million likes. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you liked what I'm putting out. I hope tons of people go and make millions of monkeys that just flood the internet. Better not see a collection out there that looks identical to mine. You better at least give me something in regards to change. You got to change the background, do something, you know, be creative. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. And uh, if you have any questions, join my Discord. Ask your questions in the SOS Help Support channel. And go out there and make your collection. Make your own art. And uh, like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for all the followers. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoy this and really enjoy that brand new Photoshop NFT collection. Like I said, I want to make this video go a million views. The last uh, How to Make a Bored Ape went to 100,000. I want this one to go to a million. I can't do it all for you. I've given you a whole Photoshop file full of assets. I've taught you how to go make your own assets. Look at the collection that's coming out of here. Thank you, Hashlips, for creating this awesome Photoshop script. I hope everybody utilizes it. This is a no-brainer on how to make an NFT collection. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Until next time, remember everybody, artists are gonna art.